Yeah, hi guys. I am down here on the, I guess the old uh, shipyard areas across from me uh, in, on the river uh, north side of Portland. It's a place I come down to uh, every once in a while to just sit, relax, have a pipe, uh, watch the river, watch the ships go by. So I had a moment that I'd come down. Thought I'd share it with you guys. So across from me, there's uh, a mixture of uh, old shipping yards and new shipping yards, old docks, new docks. Portland used to be um, one of the largest uh, uh, shipping areas on the west coast here in the U.S. Um, it, it's no longer that, but uh, there are quite a few ships that uh, still come into port here and come in and out of the river systems, um, bringing all kinds of uh, different, different cargo, uh, container ships, and um, yeah, even all kinds of goods, manufacturing and industrial. So across from me, there's a uh, pretty good size industrial area. And even on this other side, is uh, it's all industrialized. Um, but uh, more and more, um, they're they're pushing back the industrial areas and they're bringing in places for um, people to to live, flats, um, and uh, pla places to buy merchandise and uh, to eat and uh, different places to, uh, you know, for people to just be. So it's changing a, a little bit. This used to be all just shipyards in this area. So times change and places change. But there are still some really large ships that come down into the river system here and um, they load them across across the river here for me um, and unload them. And then behind that there's um, a large, uh, very large um, railway uh, system, uh, many tracks, and so they load these containers um, onto the, the trains to transport them um, inland. So it's a big transportation system for goods here. Um, it remains that, that way uh, even today, though it's uh, smaller than it was uh, in times past. So, let me take you down here and show you a little bit of it. You may find it of interest. Behind me is some of the flats that they've uh, put in fairly recently for people to live. Uh, different apartment buildings and, and such. And along with that goes restaurants and those type of things. So let me turn you around real quick and show you. So this is 
uh, the north end of Portland, the most north northern bridge here. And I'm going to perhaps talk about the bridges of Portland sometime. And then across, you can see the industrial area where they bring ships in and load them and unload them. And then over here, not sure if you can see the, the stack across the way, it says Union Pacific. Then all through there is um, railway systems where they load containers onto trains for transportation uh, on land. So smoking today, a tobacco uh, given to me uh, by Wolfgang in northern Germany, but it's a it's a, a Danish tobacco, I believe. It's Scandinavian uh, tobacco group uh, produced by. Um, so it's called Singleton. Let me show you. It comes in this pouch. Um, sorry, it's been in my pocket. But it's a just a burly tobacco. So it's it's not complex. Uh, uh, so if you're looking for something that has a lot of complexity and different levels and um, different notes, and you're not going to get that from this tobacco, but it's uh, for a burley. If, if you like burleys, this is a very good, straightforward uh, burley tobacco. It, it burns well, it packs well. It's a... Um, They call it a cut plug, but it's really, um, it's really like a, a ready rub tobacco. Let me see if I can show you the tobacco. you. Can you see that? I'm sure if that's focusing. Uh, so you see it's um, it's kind of a to me it's kind of a broken flake uh, tobacco. Um, But they call it a cut plug, but it's really more of a, to me, a broken flake or ready rub, like I say. And it smells, um, smells really good. Yeah, how's that? That, um, typical rich, um, toasted burly, uh, aroma to it. Um rich, but like I said, not complex, but a straightforward, good, uh, burly flavor. Just a hint of cocoa, uh, chocolate, uh, but mostly nutty, mostly just, uh, the familiar, um, nutty flavor that you get from burleys, good burleys. It reminds me, um, of the first tobacco that I that I ever smoked years ago. Um, I got a tobacco in, uh, I walked into LJ Peretti's shop in Boston and, um, you know, just asked him for a, what tobacco would be good for me to, 
you know, start out with. And it was, I don't remember the name of it, but it was um, some type of anniversary blend. But it was a Burley. And it has a similar flavor to this. Uh, to this Singleton. And I really liked it. And I like this one too, so... If you guys are into the Burley, and you can get a pouch of this, give it a shot and see what you think. So I'm going to finish my pipe, and uh, relax, enjoy the day. I hope you guys are well. hope you guys are enjoying some good pipes, good tobacco. And we'll see you guys again.